What's another way to make beautiful multicolored stained glass pieces that you can use to make gorgeous jewelry without having to get actual molten glass and torches and all kinds of equipment that cost hundreds of dollars and could risk explosions of hot melted glass flying up in your face and all over you. Shrink film. This stuff used to be called Shrinky Dinks, a toy for kids when I was little. But no, it is so much better than that. Not only is this stuff ready three minutes after you finish your design, but it's stronger, harder, more like glass, able to get very thin and yet very strong, and you can control the color almost completely with the designs you make. There should be a whole industry of artists using nothing but this shrink film to make gorgeous, beautiful jewelry. I haven't found any, but you guys could start. You could be the beginning of this. This stuff, there's six sheets here. The beautiful subscriber Poppy sent this to me, and it's only like eight to 10 bucks on Amazon. With these six sheets, I could make about 30 pieces of jewelry, and yet you could get 50 sheets, 100 sheets for less than 30 bucks. Be sure to follow the instructions carefully. Preheat oven to about 325, and then it's just color, cut, and bake for two and a half minutes, and you're done. That's it. That's the whole thing. There's no other way to make decorative glass-like pieces that I've ever found that's this easy and works this well. Let's make some. It says permanent markers work best, so we got the big load. Make sure you color on the rough side, not the shiny side, because the rough side catches and holds on to the color. We could do this on the black table so it's kind of space-like, or we could put white paper underneath it just so you can see the colors better. Either way. And this stuff shrinks to less than one-fourth the size you make it when you're coloring it. So make your pieces big and have a lot of fun. Doodlers beware, you could easily get addicted to this. You could do this all day long. So much fun. Why are there people not doing this full time? Uh oh, you can smear it. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. You can blend the colors. Coloring on top of coloring makes different colors. Look, this is like a light purple wine color, and this is pure turquoise. But when I color this turquoise on top of the wine color, it makes purple. And then you can smear it and blend it. Amazing! This is like fantasy coloring and doodling for adults, and yet it makes a sellable product on top of that. This is amazing. A simple hole punch will give you the exact size you need once it shrinks to have a little hole to attach the jump ring you'll need to make it earrings or a necklace.
Look how amazing these turned out. This was just my first try, just playing around with a few Sharpies. Could this shrink film be the wave of the future? Could this be a whole new industry of jewelry that some enterprising artist or artist is going to revolutionize the jewelry world with? There are some hang-ups to overcome. Generally, while it's shrinking, the pieces shrivel a little and bend a little. They don't retain their perfect flatness, which is why creating a piece that's already kind of organic and kind of amoeba, squishy, weird shaped kind of benefits you because it doesn't matter if it tends to have a 3D curl to it. Also, they look amazing when held up in the light. A little bit less so when held up against a regular surface. And worst of all, the colors don't transfer onto the back very well. Could that be fixed with double-sided pieces? Well, then you run into the same problem that they don't end up completely flat when they shrink. So putting two pieces together would not work, or would it? This is just our first attempt, and these pieces are incredibly fun. So let's see what we can do in the future and what other people can do with this incredibly fun, really unexplored, as far as I can see, new and exciting genre of jewelry making.